It may sound familiar to many of you. You watch a breathtaking monster movie, everything explodes, the giants fight, and you suddenly start wondering how humongous are these monsters actually? 10 meters? 100 meters? The same question crossed our minds, so we did some research for you to see what kind of proportions the beasts of well-known productions actually have. So sit back and get ready for the biggest monsters in movie history. And let us tell you, there are some surprises included. Nine Kong movies have already made it to the big screen, and with Godzilla vs. Kong, the tenth one is soon to hit the theaters. However, for many years the giant gorilla wasn't that huge, measuring just 50 meters in most movies. Since the latest film, Kong Skull Island is set in the same universe as the 2014 released Godzilla and also the joint film is already finished, Kong needed to be adapted to the giant lizard. In Skull Island, he was already 30 meters in height, but since Kong was only 14 years old in the film, he has been growing considerably as we saw in the newly released first trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong. Now he's 95 meters in height, which makes him a real threat to the King of the Monsters, as it promises a real fight between the two giants. In 2008, Cloverfield, a monster movie by J.J. Abrams, hit the big screen, leaving the audience more than just confused. For a long time, no one knew exactly what kind of monster was haunting New York City. What's also special about the film is that it is filmed from a handheld camera's point of view the whole time, which is supposed to give the audience the feeling of being up close and personal. The monster, much like the title, is called the Clover. The creature originates from the Atlantic Ocean, where it was awakened by submarines. The success of Cloverfield was followed by two more films, 2016's 10 Cloverfield Lane and 2018's The Cloverfield Paradox, which are loosely set in the same universe as the original. In the first part of the film series, the monster already measures a remarkable 91 meters. In the latest film adaption, The Cloverfield Paradox, an even more massive version of the clover appears. It is assumed that this film takes place in a parallel universe and that it is an adult clover being. This one rises up to above the cloud cover. On the Reddit internet platform, there is speculation that the monster is 4,000 to 6,000 meters high due to the rocket signs used by the space capsule and the kind of clouds that can be seen in the shot. Release the Kraken is certainly the most famous phrase from the movie Clash of the Titans. But hardly anyone knows that the sea monster, which was created in the film by Zeus and Hades, already made its screen debut in 1981 in the first film version of Clash of the Titans. At that time, however, he was only a meager 15 meters tall. In the 2010 reboot, things fortunately changed and the 91 meter high monster now resembled more of a Godzilla with tentacles. Nevertheless, the Kraken was turned to stone by Perseus with the head of Medusa and the enchanting Andromeda was thus saved. After we already listed Kong, this monster cannot be missing, of course. Godzilla. The King of Monsters has been making it to the big screen again and again since 1954. In the movies, we can marvel at various monsters of all sizes, species, and with all kinds of devastating powers. The creators usually act freely according to the principle, the more ginormous, the merrier. However, there are different series and universes, which is why Godzilla can sometimes vary extremely in size. We can admire one of the most impressive examples in the film series by Gareth Edwards, which has been running since 2014. In this American movie version, Godzilla reaches a height of 108 meters. In 2016, the Japanese director Hideaki Anno went even further in Shin Godzilla by making the king of all monsters grow to 118 meters. This seems to have triggered a competition to see who can make Godzilla even bigger and more powerful. So, in 2017, the anime Godzilla Earth was released, in which the lizard reached a height of 300 meters, which is pretty much the height of the Eiffel Tower. Whether the creature that will soon be appearing in Godzilla vs. Kong will grow again remains to be seen. When it comes to monsters, the kaiju from Pacific Rim cannot be omitted. And when we're talking about the king of the monsters, the king of the kaijus has to be included as well. The so-called Mega Kaiju makes his appearance in the second part, Pacific Rim Uprising, and stands 128 meters tall, thus easily outshining the hunters. However, he is not only gigantic, since he is a fusion of the three Kaijus, Raijin, Hakuja, and Shrikethorn, he also has all their abilities. No third part of the series has been officially announced yet, but it is certain that at least one more part will follow. It remains unclear, however, how the directors plan to take the Mega Kaiju to the next level. This one would then almost certainly also find a place on this list.
That a dragon would find its way onto this list was certainly to be expected, yet it is rather surprising that this dragon comes from How to Train Your Dragon and not from a fantasy epic. While most dragons in animated movies are rather small, there are also some giant ones. The Bewilderbeast can grow up to 158 meters high. This is not the only thing that makes them stand out in the film, however. They can also control other dragons, provided that they are not being controlled by others already. So far, we had giant apes, lizards, and krakens. One thing that's still missing in our lineup is an oversized worm. This can be found in David Lynch's science fiction classic Dune from 1984. The sandworms or Shiolut play a central role in the book, source of the film. They are the ones that turn planets into desert by absorbing water. They are also used as a means of transportation and are worshipped as God or Satan, depending on the religion. The longest specimens reach up to 400 meters, a mere 40 meters smaller than the Empire State Building. However, there is a story that tells of a sandworm that grew up to 2,778 meters long. How big the worms will be in the reboot, which has been rescheduled for release in October, remains to be seen. They will most likely have the same proportions as the ones in the movie from the 80s. With Kronos from Wrath of the Titans, another character from the Titan series makes it into our video. As the leader and father of Zeus and Hades, he faces a fierce battle with Perseus and his allies in the sequel. In the movie, he is shown as a powerful rock and lava monster which has the size of a mountain. He is said to be about 500 meters high, exactly equal to the height of the Taipei Financial Center in Taiwan, one of the tallest buildings in the world. Whoever thought that the following example was an alien worm was sadly mistaken. The huge monster from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, which almost devoured Han Solo and the crew of the Millennium Falcon, was actually a space slug of the species Exogorth. The slugs live as seen in the film in asteroids and are usually only about 10 or 100 meters long. However, our specimen from the film is a very rare one. Believe it or not, the length is estimated at no less than 900 meters, making it one of the longest specimens of its kind. And the most famous space smuggler of all time also plays a role when it comes to the most gigantic monster featured in our video. When Han and his friends had to take a shortcut on the castle run to escape the Empire in the movie Solo with Star Wars Story, they flew straight through the Maw. The Maw is a collection of black holes. In the midst of this route, which they had never flown before, they encountered a creature of the Summa Verminal species. These kraken-like creatures can reach a span of a whooping 7,500 meters. Thus, also the specimen from the film. Fortunately, they were still able to escape by jumping into hyperspace before the creature got too close to the maw and was pulled into the black holes. By this heroic jump, they also managed to do the legendary castle run in under 12 parsecs, which brought not only Han Solo, but also the Millennium Falcon to much fame. Well, there you go, some of the biggest monsters in movie history. Did we miss one that actually belongs on this list, or do you know an even bigger one than the Summa Verminoth? Then feel free to let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, 